Well, hey everybody, Happy New Year. It's Sandy and welcome back to my channel dedicated to helping you become an advocate for your own health, one topic at a time. Today I have some really exciting news that the New England Journal of Medicine, which is probably the oldest, most respected, and most well-known peer-reviewed medical journal in this country, has published an article touting the benefits of intermittent fasting. Now, disclaimer, I'm not recommending intermittent fasting. I'm not making any uh, individual medical recommendations on this channel, but rather recommendations about things you might discuss with your own uh, health practitioner. So here it is, the New England Journal of Medicine, December 26, 2019, the effects of intermittent fasting on health, aging, and disease. Now you might have seen uh, recent uh, news clips about this. this. This made a lot of waves. So first of all, what is intermittent fasting? I don't want to spend a lot of time on it just because uh, very briefly, it's just been done everywhere, okay? So everybody has a blog or a vlog or something, and there's just so much information out there about intermittent fasting. If somebody wants me to talk more about it, put it in the comment box below, but I'm going to assume we all know something about it. So just very briefly, it is an umbrella term for different ways to organize the timing of your caloric intake, of your food intake. And it broadly breaks down into two categories, uh, one being something called a 5-2 eating plan where five days a week uh, you eat your normal diet and two days a week, any two days you choose, you eat a very restricted caloric intake. And I'm talking something like 500 to 700 calories for the day and that's it. And the other form of intermittent fasting is otherwise known as time-restricted eating where Pretty much every day, you choose a period of six to eight hours, uh, and that's that's the window in which you eat. So let's say from noon to six, or from 11 to seven, and then that leaves you with a 16 to 18 hour period where you are fasting, which is not as bad as it sounds in my opinion, because uh, you're sleeping for a good part of that time. Okay, so that's intermittent fasting. So what did this article say? Uh, well, it basically it said that intermittent fasting has very broad spectrum benefits uh, across many health conditions. So obesity, obviously a lot of people do this for uh, weight loss and weight maintenance. Uh, diabetes, it tends to lower your fasting insulin and make you more insulin sensitive. Uh, cardiovascular disease, it tends to uh, improve the lipid profile and that's a kind of a blood work that your doctor might draw when you have your routine physical. Um, it's your cholesterol and your HDL and your LDL and all those things. They tend to get better with intermittent fasting. So does your blood pressure. Um, it seems to be anti-cancer and it also seems to provide some protection from neurologic damage. Um, lifespan also looks promising, but most of those studies have been done on animals and the studies on people are in very early phases and I'll be interested to see uh, what, what they yield. Um, so why is this exciting then, okay? Why is this exciting news? Well, because intermittent fasting, I think uh, up until now has pretty much been relegated to the status of sort of alternative medicine or more fringe uh, health uh, news. And while I think that's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. Now that this article has been published in a well-respected peer-reviewed medical journal, I think that allows, that elevates it to a status of more legitimacy and more respect. So why then do I think that's why do I think that's big news? If I'm not here recommending anybody actually do this, um, what is it, where does it belong on a channel that is dedicated to helping you advocate for your own health? Well, here's what I think is different. Now that intermittent fasting has sort of stood up to this, the kind of scientific scrutiny that a publication in this journal would require, I think it makes it a lot easier for you to have a conversation with your own practitioner. Maybe you have a dietitian, your primary doctor, your nurse practitioner, whoever this person might be. And I just think it makes it easier for you to go and start this conversation if you're thinking maybe this is something that would be good for you. Why, why do I think it's easier? Well, first of all, many, many more people, more practitioners are going to know about it. Okay, so it's not gonna be some some new thing, some new concept when you, you bring this up, they're, they're going to have heard of it now. And even for those that haven't, I think it makes it easier for you to bring up a conversation and say, well, 
I heard that this article was published in the New England Journal of Medicine saying that intermittent fasting might be beneficial for, for is beneficial for so many different conditions, and I'm wondering if it might be right for me. And I think that just tends to elicit a more considered and respectful response from your physician than, you know, if you were saying, well, I heard on so-and-so's blog, you know, it, it just something that just sounds real fringe and doesn't really have any weight behind it. So I will say for myself, my own personal journey is I have been practicing intermittent fasting for about eight years now. So <laughs> I did it at a time when it definitely raised eyebrows in an industry that I'm in. Um, I have enjoyed excellent results with it. Um, I won't really go into my own journey either unless somebody tells me that they specifically want to hear more about how I started. I, I certainly have any number of like tips and tricks when to get started um, and you know what I've seen in, in the way of a result. But I'm very happy with intermittent fasting. I think it's free, it's relatively benign. Um, it, and I think it's just something that I will likely continue to do for the rest of my life. Um, so that said, so that was our quick review today of the New England Journal of Medicine's most recent uh, publication touting the benefits of intermittent fasting. If you have questions or comments, I hope that you'll put them down below in the comment box. And until next time, thanks for having me. Bye-bye.